Hey guys, even here, and we are only a couple of hours away from Europa Pro Open Bodybuilding Prejudging, and before the show actually starts, hopefully you will get to see this video in which you're gonna see the physique updates, the final, the latest physique updates of Regan Grimes, Nathan Diasha, and some other bodybuilders. Before we get to that, let's check out what happened in Classic Physique. So this ended up being your top two. Vesley Wissers and Madelman, at least that's his Instagram name, his real name is really hard to pronounce, anyways, this was your top two, and Madelman brought a couple of things, first of all, conditioning, so he was really conditioned head to toe, and second of all, completeness, he looks a lot like Sean Ray to me, and not that much smaller, so a very complete bodybuilder, just within the limits, the weight caps of classic physique, and now with the new classic physique weight cap, he was probably bigger than ever, and look at the conditioning, like the glutes, the, the, the hamstrings, the lower back, and just that back overall was very, very complete, he actually looked insane right here, and once again, really reminds me of Sean Ray, but Vasily Wissers brought something a little bit different, probably his best conditioning of his life, and of course, he brought his uh, trademark genetics, his structure, his shape, his uh, aesthetic look overall to the physique, and that combined with uh, probably the best conditioning of his life was enough for him to win this show. Do I agree with this decision? Well, when I'm watching this posing routine one by one, I wouldn't say so, I would say Madelman looks probably better, like more complete, more compact, Prob definitely more conditioned, especially like the glutes, the hamstrings and the lower back in particular, look at the lower back here of Wesley, it could be sharper, it's always kind of like a problem area for him when it comes to conditioning, but once again, just the, the, the classic look, you know, the aesthetics and also the, the frame, right, the structure, I mean, Wesley is a tall guy, not Chris Bumstead tall, taller, much taller, and Madelman isn't that tall, so in a lineup, in a comparison, when they would stand one X to another, Wesley would kind of overpower him with his structure, with his presence, with his overall size, right? He's a bigger man, much bigger man. You can argue that pound for pound, Metalman is bigger. I would say that his legs are bigger and that his back especially is just much, much thicker, much more complete. Maybe even his conditioning is better here, but... Does he have more of a classic structure? I wouldn't say so, but I also wouldn't say that Madelman is like not classic. I wouldn't say that he's not aesthetic. He is. He's also very classic. For example, a physique that reminds me kind of of Madelman would be like Rav Diesel, who was second at the Mr. Olympia. I don't see Rav Diesel being like much more aesthetic than Madelman. Like they are kind of close. They are in the ballpark as far as aesthetics, as far as shape, and also as far as muscularity and conditioning, like they're very close, but you know, Ralph Diesel ends up second in the Mr. Olympia, and Metalman for some reason can't even win Europa Pro, can't beat Wesley Wissers, and Wesley was 8th at the Mr. Olympia last year, and he is going again this year, you guys know that I'm a fan of Wesley Wissers, especially because he's a taller guy like myself, I like to see those guys in classic physique, it gives me hope for my future as a competitive bodybuilder, but as far as this decision, I'm not so sure if this was right, it seems a little bit shady, I hope the judges didn't give it to Wesley because of his name, because he's so popular. I mean, no, no, come on, there was no robbery at this show. If there were robberies at the IBB Pro League, Hari Japan wouldn't be a Mr. Olympia today, simple as that. So I don't think they gave this victory to Wesley just because of his name. I think he deserved it. Maybe it's not super clear on these, you know, very clear photos and videos. But I guess in person it probably did look different still. And also there is that one thing that I just said, the classic look and the height. You know, the overall like impression that you get when you see Wesley on that stage. He's very imposing. He's a big guy. He can open up like this, like right here. So I'm sure he dominated that stage and that's probably part of the reason why he won this show 
But I believe Metalman could have won this show as well. I believe both of these guys deserve to go to the Mr. Olympia stage. There are a few more shows, few more qualifiers. I think there's one in Dubai that's next. But that one is done by Rob Diesel. So Metalman won't, have, won't find his luck over there. So he should probably do France uh, show. I think there is that one. And I think there is Legion in USA. So... I think he deserves to be on a Mr. Olympia stage. I think he can qualify, but you never know. There aren't too many chances left for this year's Olympia. Once again, Wesley Wiesers earned his ticket at a Mr. Olympia. And last year, once again, he was 8. Can he beat that score? Can he place higher than 8? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't see it. I think best case scenario, he will be around like 8 to 10. Somewhere there. I don't really see him placing higher than that. I think he pretty much achieved like the maximum potential of his physique. He, he, I, maybe he can be a little bit tighter, a little bit harder, but not too much. At least not this year, I don't think so. And it's very, very competitive up there. So if he's 8th again, it will be a huge success. But yeah, I would like to see him place higher. Can he place top 6? What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Personally, I have him still in my 8 to 10. And that's if he is really on. All right, now let's talk about open bodybuilding. Actually, let's talk about Nathan Diasha versus Regan Grimes. Is there a chance for Regan to beat Nathan this year? This show, actually, this year also. Uh, I made a video about this recently. You can check it out. And basically what I said is, if Nathan is off by, I don't know, like 30% and Regan is improved, by 30%. If Regan is much sharper, much fuller, if he just peaks overall much better and he's leaner as well, and Nathan can't replicate the same peak that he brought to Italy, then maybe Regan can beat Nathan. But after I saw this photo, yeah, yeah, I thought there is no way, no way Nathan can lose this show. Just like Patrick Tour says there in the comments, game over, and it is, it is game over. So, as you can see, like, he is super, super shredded. He is super dry. And also very full and, like, really hard. So, yeah, it seems like... I thought, like, you know, last time at Italy, he was 101%. I thought he couldn't pick any better than that. So, I assumed there was a big possibility of him actually showing up at worse than that. Like, it's really hard to pick twice, back-to-back, in, in one week literally in seven days and just look absolutely like 100% like that that's really tough and like he could not be better than he looked at Italy I don't think he can pick any better than that uh, the only question is can he replicate that or is he gonna be a little bit worse I was expecting him I was kind of hoping really because I wanted to see a more of a battle against Regan but after seeing this update yeah I think all hope for Regan is pretty much gone Nathan is bringing his absolute A game. I don't know how much can he ruin between this point and the pre-judging. This, uh, this, this was taken maybe like, I don't know, five hours before the pre-judging. I mean, when it comes to these bodybuilders, a lot can go wrong in five hours. But he has a really good coach, you know, in his corner. So I don't think he's going to let that happen. Uh, if he looks like this at five, uh, five hours out, he's going to look very good like this, probably on stage. Maybe even better than this. So, yeah, I think we all can agree that this is the best Nathan that we ever saw, uh, ever in his career. And uh, once again, just like in Italy, he's bringing his absolute A game. And it's most likely going to be enough for him to win this show. I don't even know if he's going to do the Mr. Olympia or he's just doing these Euro European shows in order to just win as many of them as possible and like win the prize money and, you know, have more pro wins under his belt. If he wins this one, that's 11 pro shows. So, yeah, that, that's a hell of a career. And for Regan to beat somebody as seasoned at, at the peak of his career like Nathan, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. Now, let's take a look at Regan, what he looks like right now. I think like three hours before the stage. So this is Regan right now, he took this video outside, so there is no artificial lighting, uh, anabolic lighting, or call it what you will, that's gonna make him look better than he is. Uh, like those photos that he probably posted on Instagram prior to Italy, bro, that really made him look insane. Now this is just, you know, outdoors, so there is no special lighting here, what you see right here is what you're gonna see on that stage. So did he improve his conditioning? 
maybe a little bit, maybe a tiny bit. I don't see any kind of crazy changes. I mean, how much can you change in a couple of days? I mean, he probably dieted for like, I don't know, four days. How much fat can you really trim off in four days? I mean, he had probably one day off and a couple of days to carb up. Uh, he said in one post that he's doing uh, 1,000 grams of carbs, I think yesterday or today, I'm not so sure. So, yeah, I know Miller Archer likes to carb load heavy, you know, with a lot of carbs. So, I'm sure he's like full right here, as full as she's gonna get. Maybe he can get a little bit, you know, drier and harder in the meantime. But, yeah, what you see right here is what you're gonna get. As you guys probably heard, Regan's explanation for why he was off in Italy was simply because he had some sort of a weird reaction to the tan and he was holding a lot of water because of it, like on the day of the show, so they had to manipulate too many things and they messed it up, basically, he was... Uh, kind of flat, kind of watery, and uh, like he wasn't even, his tan wasn't very good, and like everything went bad, the peak week wasn't good for, for Regan in Italy, and now hopefully everything went smooth, so I am expecting a better Regan, uh, maybe 20-30% better, but unless Nathan is 20-30% worse, I, I don't see Regan beating him, I do believe this is absolutely the best version of Regan ever, but, like, Nathan, Nathan looks like a top 6 Olympian right now, I mean, he looks crazy these days, uh, this, this season, Italy and probably Spain as well, we're gonna see maybe in like an hour, so yeah, I mean, even though Regan is looking better and he's looking overall amazing, I don't see him beating Nathan at this show, I mean, I don't think anybody really does after we saw how Nathan destroyed him at Italy, he needs to really improve a lot, like a lot, in order to surpass Nathan this year, is that realistic? I wouldn't say so. Does Regan look better? I would say he does look a little bit better, but I wouldn't say it's enough to beat very, very good Nathan Diash. And oh yeah, by the way, we also got Roman Fritz doing this show as well. I gotta say, it's really refreshing to see a bodybuilder do a show, do a couple of shows, after he already won a Olympic qualification. What is there to lose? I mean, I get it when a new guy shows up and he wins a show and it's his first show, like a pro debut, for example, and like he was never beaten in pro league. Why would he, you know, go and lose a show if he's already qualified for the Mr. Olympia? He should just, you know, wait and like do as good as he can at the Mr. Olympia. That makes sense. But we all know that Regan, actually Roman, is not gonna be, you know, in top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. We all know what kind of, a, what level of a bodybuilder he is right now. He's not a top tier, he's not even a second tier, at best he's a third tier, I mean, at the Mr. Olympia, like, third call-out guy, so, like, he, and he's also always in shape, like, he can't get fat, uh, not fat, he can't get out of shape, even when he's trying in the off-season, it doesn't happen, especially, like, from show to show, so he's shredded, like this, just hanging out there, and shows are happening, so he's doing them, and that's, that's really impressive, and look at the conditioning that he's got here, I mean, look at those freaking glutes, like, I, when did you guys see glutes this shredded, this separated, like, they're dry all over the place, like, from top to bottom, like, all the way, so this is really impressive, and I would say that he actually has a chance of even beating Regan Grimes, I mean, I thought it was pretty close at Italy, but this time around, I mean, Roman looks even sharper, so it's gonna be an interesting comparison, I think Roman needs to pose better, to pose bigger, you know, to not hide himself too much, and like, to, to, to pose like he's, you know, he needs to open up, if he can do that, and he can like, show the dominance, maybe he can actually challenge Regan, but we'll see about that, I predict him placing third at this show, like he did at Italy, and once again, he looks crazy shredded, he looks amazing right here, anyways guys, the show is happening in probably like an hour from now, so guys, stay tuned, subscribe, I will make a video about the pre-judging as soon as it happens, thank you guys for following, all the best, and bye-bye.